Hiya, Duck. We're back and we are doing 3D Illusion Acro Gel Slash Gel Polish. Morgan does have a slight pooly, but we'll just ignore that. But we've already got tips on. Now I've buffed, I've buffed all the tips as well because they need to be abrased. Because we're going to be using Acrogel, we need to have it being completely abrased. Because if it's shiny and you put Acrogel on or gel, what will happen? It will just peel away. Oh my God, you don't want that to happen. I'm just going to use the Nail Camille Ultra Bond. So just on the natural nail. And let that, it'll just evaporate. And then what we're going to do is put the Nail Camille base coat on. Now the main point of this is to get it on to the natural nail. And it's going to give you good adhesion. And just feather that down onto the tip. And we're going to do that on all the nails. This is the Aurora Acrogel, Acrylic Gel, Acrogel, Polygel, whatever you want to call it. Um, basically Acrogel. <laughs> does say there, does say what it is. It's basically a combination of the two. It's their Aura Collection. This is Rose Shimmer. It's Stun. Stunning. Now, the ones that we're going to do the roses on... We'll do a little bit different, but I want to just show you one full application first. Can you see the sparkle? Oh, I think we should <laughs> like toothpaste on you now. <laughs> so I've got a 3D acrylic, a 3D Alicia brush, and it's dampened with slip solution. And that is going to allow the brush not to stick to the nail. Not to stick to the nail, not to stick, not to the, can I get English today? <laughs> it's going to make sure that the brush doesn't stick to the product. So we can blend that and you see it just doesn't move anywhere. It just kind of stays still until you boss it around. And it's got like a nice shimmer in it. So it's a lovely background colour. And I'm just going to build out the strength and length with this colour. So we want an apex in the back third, and you kind of, you stroke it, you don't like pat, press and pull like you do with acrylic, you can pat it, but you want to stroke it, and by stroking it, you'll stretch it. So it's, it's similar to acrylic, but it really isn't the same. You get a lot of strength from it. It's similar to gel in the way that you actually cure it in the lamp. But with acrylic, it would have set, wouldn't it? It sets on its own. Well, this does not set on its own. It needs the lamp for it to set. I'm going to do two nails with the flowers on. One nail, sorry, two nails with the flowers on, and the others will be this colour over them, all of them, but we are going to put some gel polish on as well. Right, so we're going to wipe over with some clean-up solution just to take off that sticky layer. Then, I'm going to file around the smile line just to make it super sharp. Super, super, super sharp. So I'm keeping the file very upright. I'm going to file these into shape. You'll notice they don't need a massive amount of filing because with... Acro gel, you can really shape the product with your brush. So if you struggle with acrylic, then give Acro gel a go. I'm just softening that tip. You want it more almond, don't you, darling? Not a stiletto. You switched off then, didn't you? I don't know what you're on about, dog. <laughs> she just went to Ag. She was just staring into the abyss of nothing. Zonked. <laughs> she was she was gone. Yeah, I'll need to take the, the, the occasional few seconds now. <laughs> 
So with this one, it's very thin, isn't it? But we just want to make sure it stays nice and thin, thin and nice and even. Even and thin. Because this is going to have a built up flower on it. And this is one of those designs where you've got to trust the process. All right, let's give that a bit of a buff. And the reason I'm getting this filing out of the way before I do the rose is because obviously there's going to be a lot of dust. I don't want to do the rose and if not, and then there's just dust everywhere. I want to get that out of the way. Right, so what we're going to do, I'm going to do this one first. And whatever I do on here, I'll sort of do a similar version on here. Obviously, a little bit more. You know I mean? So, we've got abundance of colours. We're going to start with... Dark to light. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll start with Silly Billy. So I want that out on my palette for now. i pick up a little bit of Silly Billy. Pop it in the centre there. And then you'll need clear. So this is the clear aqua gel. I'm just going to pop a little bit on this palette because I don't need an abundance of it. So you want a small amount of aqua gel rubbed directly over the top. And you do not want it to go any wider than your little dot. So you want to use your brush to make sure it's nice and high. Pop that in the lamp. Then we're going to get the same colour. Then we're going to go round and have a little nipple. <laughs> Yeah, the same colour. And you want to make sure you go all the way up the sides. Oh dear. Oh dear. That's a lot of dust. Then we're going to take the aqua gel and go around the edge, but then kind of put less here and more here, but do not go over the colour. Me right, now we're going to change the colour. So we're going to go to MRGN. Whip, whip. Yes. <laughs> Morgan has a name, a, sorry, a gel polish named after her brand. How amazing is that? The pop art, you know the pop art now, she did. Yeah. She went on Facebook the other day. Yeah. Somebody commented, MRGN is my thing. Oh, that's and nice. It is very nice. It's a little bit gunge. Again, make sure you're going up the sides. So you see how we're going, we're putting more on this side now than the other side. What's going on? So if you haven't noticed, I'm squeezing some out, scooping it off with the pammy picker up here. And then just kind of rolling that off. Next colour is cotton, no, cotton candy. Yeah. Yeah. So you can kind of see I'm repeating the process. And the petals kind of get bigger. As you go. Then I'm going to get a little bit of white and cotton candy to make it even lighter. So the colour we mixed going on the opposite side. So we kind of wrap around each other the shapes do. Then I'm going to mix gold ribbons. And I'm going to mix a bit of pink into that. So I'm going to mix a little bit of cotton candy. So are you covering the whole nail? This one, yeah. And on the other one, the tip, I'm assuming. Mm-hmm. Nice. So you can see why we needed some structure in the background as well with this. But the aqua gel is also going to give you loads of structure. Right. Now we're going back to this side. So now we start to angle it like this. And as it gets further down, it'll angle even more. So we've gone from this straight angle and then we're slowly going to angle it down then we're just going to use 
gold ribbons on its own. Oh, I might put a bit of white in, just a light in it. Oh, that's there. So, are these going to stay this chunky? No. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? I really like it on the tip. I think that looks really nice. That one? Yeah. This is a reveal, Joby, this is that. Yeah. Is it when it's filed it off? You can tell. Then we'll use just white on its own. We're nearly at the final hurdle. One more application of aqua gel. So make sure you're covering all your white gel, all the gel pen. And I know right now it looks like a monster nail. Gorgeous. Let's take that sticky layer off. Oh, this is my favourite bit. Let's see. Oh, Doc, she's <laughs> been revealed. So as you file through, you then hit the gel polish as well. So you can understand why it needs that high side. If it doesn't have the high side, you won't get these nice sort of little lines. So I'm just going to perfect the shape now with my hand file. Chunky monkey anymore? Not chunky no more, just. Oh, I love him! I haven't even put top coat on him yet. I'm only well look nice with top coat yeah. on. Yeah, we will the look like. Oh. Right, I just want you wash your hands now. Okay, do. I like to get and wash their hands at this point because it just gets rid of all of the dust, especially when, when we've been filing a lot. Alright, so just wiping over with some clean up solution. So what we'll do is, I think we'll do a French in this. Now because aqua gel is a really porous layer, you won't need base coat. The gel polish will just sink into it. So I'm going to use my brush to sort of get the bulk of it on. Then Lily Liner, take some of that product onto my Lily Liner. And you can just perfect your smile line. Oh, 
So we want me to mix these two again. You like that colour. So one coat of that. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. I can do the second coat of this. M R G M. And one point I want to put a very thin layer of that gold even over the top of this as well. I just need it extra shimmery. Yeah. Put it in. Yeah. Yeah, because you can't see it, can you? Can't really? see it quite as, yeah. Thin layer of gold ribbons, and then we'll go in the lamp. I want to put gold ribbons over this one. Okay, go on then, look. Because I've never done that and oh, it looks really nice. Just dead thin. And then you want bling, Jock. So, bling, where do you want bling? Am I just making that decision? Yeah. <laughs> Don't put me on the spot like that. <laughs> so we'll do some here. Some here. So if I say here. I want it there, no. No, you're not having it there. <laughs> That's what you'll say. Uh, I don't know, Lord. Or you'd be like, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> so I'm just putting the crystal to tell this jangle on. This is a gem gel that will cure in the lamp. So you still have time to kind of move it around where you want it. Not like a glue that will just dry. Put some micro beads on. I love the little micro beads. Because they look like Dan Monty's, but they're not. Yeah. Yeah, I see. In a lamp. Now with the top coat, make sure you butt that straight up to the crystals. Make sure you cap the edge of your nail as well. It'll help keep everything on. Oh, can't wait for this one. Oh my god. Yeah, it looks class though. That is so nice. Oh, I love it. I can't wait to take pictures of them. So stick around for the little photo gallery that we do at the end of our videos. Right, cuticle oil and we are done. They are gorgeous. They are time consuming doing the roses, but worth it. So if you've got a client that wants it, don't do it on every single nail, Jesus Christ. You'll be there all day, but boot that time out to do them. Unless someone's paying you for it all day. Yeah, you've got to pay you for your time. Nice. There you are, guys. Thank you for coming along this uh, journey with us because it is a journey. It oh, is a journey. journey. <laughs>
<laughs> Everything I've used today will be listed below. Don't forget to subscribe if you love, love nails. If you love nails and you love these kind of videos, then subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.